Okay. All right. La 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 la. la. Yeah. So we are we're ready to get started on hey. our our thing number three. Oh, Donna just got her bill of box. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I don't think any of our people have seen theirs yet. So you're lucky. Yep, Jackie, I always buy two. Um, Cindy, no, I did not get some TP2 embroidered on, embroidery on yet, but. Look, she has her own. I have my own with so, my name on it. So if you happen to use that, you should take that piece off and, and uh, frame it, right? Yep. Okay, so we're going to make something really fun today, and it's just with a so cute. log cabin. It's darling. Block. So anybody not know how to do a log cabin block on, on I there? Love and log I love log, love log cabin blocks, too. They're sold out of what the are, Bella box, oh, Donna? Yes, they are. Oh. They are sold out. Wow. Okay, anybody, anybody want to want, because I will go as in dip. That was a squirrel. In the that was, that a, was. Squirrel, a squirrel moment. She's been hanging around Kyle. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so this is what we are making today. <laughs> it's a pot holder with a it twist. Is so cute. Is that not so fun? I mean, that I, it's just oh. so fun and it goes together so easy. I love and it. so we, okay, Cindy, you're still learning. So great. We are going to go through that. It is a hot pad, Cheryl, and you it's can so do it. Okay. Linda, haven't done a log cabin either. So oh, you have to try it. Yes. You really do. Yes. So I'm going to yeah. walk you through how to do this. We're, we're not going to sew, but you feel free to call me. Um, it is so easy. So yeah, so cute. Okay. Okay. You ready? Here we go. We're going to start out with a two and a half by two and a half inch square. Now I use this cute polka dot with flesh color. I on love it. it. You could do flesh color. You can do anything you want um, to, and, and keep in mind, I mean, be as creative as you want. I love but it. But the log cabins are so easy um, because basically you're going to start and you're going to sew a strip, then you're going to add onto this strip. So the next one and go all the way around. So for this Santa, we're going to do a white strip first. Okay, because that's okay. his beard. Yes, because we want to do his beard first. Okay. So this is two and a half square. Okay. And then my little strips are one inch. But here's the beautiful part of this. You could do these two and a half inches. You, If you wanted to do this on a bigger bottle, oh, you could do it three inches, okay. four inches. You can do as many rows as you want to make it as big as you want. So I'm going to grab some scissors. So okay. I can show you. Should you want to turn the light off? Because sure. I says it's kind of, can Not you better. see that? Can you see that a little bit better? There was kind of a, there was a little um, glare. glare. Yes. So hopefully that's better. Okay. So okay. what you want to do is you want to lay go. these right sides together. And you're going to start and you're just going to make a fourth inch seam and you're going to sew straight to this edge. So when you get it done, just, they don't work. And nobody's oh. got a new one. So when they, you're done, you're going to have this and you're going to iron it out. Cool. Okay. Okay. Then the next one, you hold that. Yep. Okay. the next one you're going to lay right here. You're going to sew right to the end of your fabric. Then you're going to flip that and iron that out. Oh, that is so cool. Yes, so so okay. easy. Now, most of the time on a log cabin square, if you were going to do a square, you would do darks and then lights on right. one side. You can do that. Right. But for this one, we are going to do about seven one inch strips. We're going to do one white for his beard. And then with the magic of TV, ta-da, ta-da, we have, we have just been, and we've done it all the way around. So we're doing oh, a border okay. of everything. Oh, all that's All the so way cool. around. All right. Oh, that's darling. That Does anybody so have cute. any questions? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think that that light on the table was a little yes. bit hard. Yes. So. Okay, so okay. we have that. Now, like it I said, like this. I've done She's seven. Done seven. Um, cool. And I put a little border here. You don't have to do that. I mean, wouldn't this be cute, like in a blue for snowmen? Or if you yeah. want to do a gnome and put some some of that, a felt or something. I mean, you know, you could think do, of the possibilities that you can do that. You could do a reindeer. You could do a reindeer. A reindeer would be really cute. So. Okay. All right. Okay. 
So we're coming back down. Okay, so here we here's so. our here's our. Uh, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut this in half. Okay, along the diagonal. Along the diagonal, and you want to make sure it's straight so that you're getting a straight one here and then straight on these edges. Otherwise, okay, you have so, a ski wampus face. So maybe line up your your corners right yep. here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Everybody see that? And okay, we she went. shoot. Woo! Look at that. Wow, that was so. Yeah, we Wasn't made that it. Magic? We made it so she didn't have to uh, use the rotary blade. Okay, okay so you're somebody make... wants to um, show the first row again. So let's kind of put this to okay. the side. So here's your center square. Okay. Okay. So you're going to take your first right sides together, your first strip here, and you're going to do a quarter inch, and you're going to sew here to here, and then iron it. And press it open. And press that open. Okay. Okay, Does that make then sense? make sure you go over where you just added. You're going to put your second strip here to here. You'll sew it a quarter of an inch and, you'll and then you'll open. press it open. So then you're going to do the next one. You'll put the next one here. Yep, just go right over the top of this. Yep. Right sides together. Press it. Press it. Only, this, only it. this one is all white, yes. right? You yep. did all white on this one. Yep. And then the last one, you do another one. So you're going to do all four sides just like that. Right. So you've got four whites. Does that make sense? I mean, this is such a great stash buster. Okay. Um, um, what size is the block? It ends up being about a seven and a half. Yeah. In order to do the one I did. But like I said, you can do it any size. And the center square is two and a half. Yeah, two and a half inches. inches. Okay. Yep. And then I did one inch. Um, when when I was sewing those and they were a little tedious, I'm like, why didn't I do a two inch? But you know. No, I they, like how yeah. I like the little I like ones because the then ones you can too. bring extra fabrics. I love the fabrics. Then all of all of my strips were one inch wide, so all of them were one. Okay. So next step, we have now cut it in half. So each of your log cabin blocks is mm -hmm. going to make two hot pads. Oh, great. Okay. So now you want to do his hat and you can do his hat any color. I, red's my favorite color. Yeah, right. So I, well. I did red color. So you're going to do a seven and a half inch block by seven and a half inch block. You're also going to cut that on the diagonal. So whatever size this is. Yes. Then you cut the square. The and same. that's the thing. You don't have to be really precise. So if this was seven and a fourth, you're going to do seven and a fourth. Okay. If this was, you know. Okay. Depending on what size yep. strips. Okay. And, and so I really, what I like to do is I like to get my backing fabric. So there's some backing fabric. Then I like to get my batting. So I'm going to put some batting in here. And has anybody used Thinsulate? We're just going to cut out for a minute. Oh, okay. So then I'm going to get some Thinsulate, and I'm going to put that on top of here. Then I'm going to put this, my pattern, here. And then cut all the way around your edges, and everything is exactly square. Does that oh, make sense? Yeah. Okay, so then we have three pieces. Okay. So we have this sewn together. We have our three pieces. Okay. Okay. So now we have squares and seven and a half inch by seven and a half inch. What we're going to do is imagine this is all sewed together. And you know what? I'm going to go sew it together because I think it'll be easier okay. to see this. So, okay. so you okay. guys chat while I So we'll this just, um, someone wanted to see the cute. This is what we are making. Yeah, I know. I said, we were hoping that you could hear us whispering. So you'd catch us, but this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Okay. After the white row, she has one, two, three, four, five. She has five rows. So six counting the white and then your square in the center. So, and then that's the, that's what the square is. Okay. Do you have any other questions? And then she puts it, 
then she um, you can put it together. Isn't that just so cute? I love that. I was thinking you could even put to make a, a band on his hat. You could do a little piece of black ribbon and then something there. It's so cute. Okay. So yes, the pattern will be available and we can, we'll talk about that also. So here she comes back. All right. <clears throat> okay. okay. So here is her. So I sewed these together. Give it a good finger press so that you can see. So I sewed. And so technically I would have two at this point. Okay. Okay. Then I also have cut the same size as this, my backing fabric, my batting, and I'm going to make this a hot pad. You don't have to make it a hot pad at no. all, but use that insel bright if you are going to make it because this yes. is really thin. So and would you will... use that instead of this? I would use them both. You would put both of them? Yeah, on this one, okay. I, I would put both okay. of them. Okay, so how we're going to lay this is you're going to lay your right sides together here. So right side facing up is your bottom. Then you're going to go backing, facing, right sides together, right down. Sides together. Okay. And then you're going to add your batting. And then you're going to add your insel bright. Okay. Okay. Once we have that done, then you are simply going to take and you want to start. I always start and do my corners on the machine. And I'm going to leave about two inches to turn it inside out around okay. here. So I'm going to start and I'm going to go, so a quarter of an inch all the way around like this. Okay. Then I am going to take it and I'm going to turn it inside out. And when I do, that is just so cute. I have this. Then you can quilt it as desired. So I didn't quilt it very good because I was hurrying, but you, I quilted around the edge. Okay. I quilted across. Then I quilted, you know, just in my little. Oh, that's cute. Right here. Yeah. You see. I added a little just, ribbon. She just followed the lines of the of the log cabin block. That's cute. How cute. Um, this is a wood button. Cute. That I just added on there because if they're going to use it as a hot pad. That's cute. And then the little eyes. Yep. You use beads. Yes, I use beads because but, they can pop them off. Oh, nice. But you could you could uh, use, you could applique them on or use um, embroidery floss. Cindy, I use yeah. both only because I'm afraid of burning myself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I don't know, that would, when you're touching something hot, it would be good to have both of those layers in there. Yeah. And Betty, if you use the block as a pattern for the inside before you cut it in half, wouldn't your batting and insole bright be too big? Um, I didn't find it so because I wanted it to go clear to the edge, but you could cut that down just a little bit. Yes, Donna, I did it on my new machine and I was so <laughs> nervous and I, I don't have my new machine down. So it, it doesn't look as straight as on my old machine. Anybody else have that problem? I'm like, oh, I've got to learn this because I did that. Did you make a buttonhole for that button? Nope. I just, she just sewed, sewed it, it on. on. So she could sew that button on with on your machine. You did know that. Right? I do, but <laughs> listen, I quilted on it. Last that I night. think that's great. Yep. Little baby steps. Right? Yes, Lori, you could use a black marker for the eyes. You could use a um, buttons. Yes. For the eyes, yes. Um, They're awfully tiny. Yes. You could applique them as well, or use. You could even stitch them with embroidery right. floss. Right. Right. So it would be good. Yep. So yeah. So so this is how it works as a hot pad. So when you're done, you're completely finished, and you have this square. You've quilted it. You've embellished it. I mean, you know, there's just like I said, there's so many things that you can do to add this to make this so cute. Mm -hmm. Um. I, yes, I still quilted it, Terry Jo, but yes, Calamity Jane did a pretty good job, but Alison Hoth, she has to work on it a little bit more. Oh, I'm still so scared of it. Uh, My machine, that's all right. I'm getting yeah, it. But I'm as learning. a hot pad, you would just do this. Yes. You know, you would, un you would undo it, but to put it on a, on a pot bottle or something. Now I'm going to show you. All right. This is where the. That. This is where the width, uh, yes, Pamela, French, French knots. knots would be, yeah, that would yes, work. Yes, Deidre, I got it out. Okay, so this is where the width of twist comes in. 
So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're going to just twist it around the back. So here's the front, the back, twist it around the back. Now I thought of a million different ways to secure this. You could base this, but I really want folks to know that it's a hot pad. It's so cute. And so if I don't come up with a cute poem or something, because I, I thought, well, you could base this up, you could put some Velcro, but then that's all in the way of your hot pad. I just took a straight pin and I just went through and I made sure that I left my end in the bottom. Does well, everybody you, yeah, see that? You could do a safety pin. Yes, a as safety well, pin right? would be much better if you were giving this. Yeah. But then you just set it on top of your pot bottle. So just say if you wanted to do like a, a one liter or two liter, um, yeah, that you would you want to make increase. it just a little bit bigger. It's so cute. Yes. I love it. All right. Oh, we're so, so fast cute. today. I should have just sewn it all out and talked really slow. I know. But, you know, I put a little ribbon up here. A bell would be cute if you wanted to take a bell. Really you could embellish it yeah, a lot of different ways. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. French knot for the eyes. I thought that too, that that would be really easy. And then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited. I love it. Look what I put it on. <sighs> Guess what? Coke. Guess who loves that drink? Zero. Oh I'm my gosh. giving this to oh. Jackie. There you go. Oh. I have my oh. Diet Coke. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. I have my Coke Cheers. Zero. That's yes. Awesome. Yes. The button could use a white pom pom. Um, little Rosy brush for the cheeks. cheeks. Oh, cute idea. Yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Lynn's seen that done up as a witch. witch. That'd oh. be cute. Yes so fun look at all these fun ideas it goes together so easy and sometimes when you're just looking for that little gift yeah, i'm that totally little... i'm totally making these for all of my friends so z who you probably haven't met but we should get up here she's darling mm -hmm. she's not here today but z works downstairs and she is in our inventory department mm -hmm. she helps pick all of your orders um she is going to invite people to a party with this oh. and a recipe Oh, how cute. So I thought That's that would adorable. be cute. That is so cute. Oh, greens would make a green greens, elf. Yes. Or a Christmas tree. Yeah. Cute. Um, you know, if you want to do a father Christmas in white. That would be, oh, that would be so Yeah, fun. really cute wine topper. Well, the wines would be great. I thought that too, but I didn't think that Jackie would appreciate that at work. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. So so that is our three three for the day. Yeah, it's I, really cute. I love all of your fun ideas. Yes, really I fun ideas. I'm totally going to make some of these. Yeah, I think that's so fun. Yeah. 